The mighty Zambezi is the fourth largest river in Africa. It is 2,574 kilometers long and is the longest river in Africa that flows into the Indian Ocean. The source of the Zambezi is in Zambia. It then flows through Angola along the borders of Namibia, Botswana, Zambia and Zimbabwe. It is through Zimbabwe and the Great Zambezi Valley that a lot of these great hunting scenes were captured. From Zimbabwe, it then enters into Mozambique, flowing into the Indian Ocean. The river's most spectacular feature is one of the wonders of the world, the Victoria Falls, or known locally by the Shona people as Musia Tunya, the smoke that thunders. The first European to set eyes on the largest falls in the world was the explorer Dr. David Livingston. From Victoria Falls, which is considered the boundary between the upper and the middle Zambezi, the river gently flows for about 200 kilometers before entering Lake Kariba. Lake Kariba was built in 1959 and is over 300 kilometers long, averaging over 20 kilometers wide and is one of the largest man-made lakes in the world. The beautiful lake shores and surrounding areas are host to abundant wildlife. There's the rugged national park called Matusadona and there are numerous safari and communal hunting areas. Safari areas are specifically set aside for wildlife and sport hunting. These areas are run by national parks and have no local villages living in them. The communal areas have local inhabitants living in them alongside protected wildlife that are sport hunted. In these areas, there are the inevitable conflict between man and animal. The villagers are subsistence farmers and during the reaping season have repeated problems with the animals raiding their crops. Elephants in particular are a major problem. It is during this season that PAC or problem animal control hunts are conducted for the benefit of the locals. Below the dam wall, which is considered the boundary between the middle and the lower Zambezi, the river flows through the Zambezi Valley hunting areas as well as Manapools National Park. The lower Zambezi hunting areas are Rifa, Nyakasanga, Sapi, Chiwori North and Dandi. Bordering these river areas are Makuti and Chiwori South. This vast unfenced block of wild Africa offers some of the finest quality dangerous game hunting available today. While the Zambezi Valley safari areas are probably most famous for its vast numbers of buffalo, the valley has numerous other animals. The elephant population has steadily increased to almost unmanageable numbers while predator numbers are very healthy and with many areas boasting a 100% success rate on the elusive leopard. After flowing through the Mapata Gorge and past the beautiful red cliffs in Dandi, the river takes a sharp bend. It is here that the Luangwa River joins the Zambezi and is the start of the lower Zambezi section. It is also the border of three countries, Zimbabwe, Zambia and Mozambique and the headwaters of Kaborabasa Lake, home to the highest concentration of man-eating crocodiles in recent history. A croc has 66 teeth which are continually replaced throughout its life. A trophy crocodile of say 15 feet will be approximately 75 years old and would have used 45 sets of teeth. Well done. Thank you very much. There are basically two ways of hunting crocodiles, over a bait or basking in the sun. I have shot many crocodiles basking in the sun. It is, however, more difficult than over a bait for the simple reason that the crocodile has chosen its own position rather than the hunter. Crocs have favorite basking sites and what I have found to be a very successful method is locating these basking sites and building a blind overlooking that slide. I try to cut as little as possible to allow a decent shooting alleyway while as not to make it too obvious that his favorite spot has been tampered with. The building of the blind and cutting of the shooting alleyway should be done early in the morning 
as the clock will not be thinking of basking as it is still too cold. By doing this, hopefully the croc will not see you interfering with its sunning spot, resulting in it being more cautious than usual. It now becomes a sit and wait game unless you have a vantage point and a concealed walk-in. Remember that crocs like to bask from around 9 in the morning through to about 4 in the afternoon. Shoot again, shoot yeah, again, shoot tiro, again. Tiro, tiro, tiro. Tiro, 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 tiro. 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 Tiro, tiro, tiro.